Is your old Windows PC running painfully slow? Before you decide it's time for an upgrade, consider giving it a second life with a lightweight Linux distribution. Linux offers a spectrum of options, from feature-packed releases for modern machines to ultra-slimmed-down editions built specifically for aging hardware. In this video, we'll explore five distros that are designed to be easy on system resources, breathe new life into older computers, and provide a smooth, responsive desktop experience, even on machines with as little as 512 megabytes of RAM. Number one, Linux Lite. Linux Lite is tailored for users transitioning from Windows. Its interface is intentionally familiar, complete with a taskbar, start menu style launcher, and desktop icons, so you won't feel lost if you've only ever used Windows before. Under the hood, Linux Lite uses the XFCE desktop environment, known for its balance of performance and customization. Why choose Linux Lite? Familiar layout. The desktop resembles traditional Windows setups, making it intuitive if you're new to Linux. Preloaded essentials. Out of the box, you'll find everything you need to get started. An office suite, media player, image editor, email client, and more. Built on Ubuntu LTS. By leveraging Ubuntu's long-term support releases, Linux Lite benefits from five years of security updates and bug fixes, plus access to thousands of applications in the Ubuntu repositories. Potential drawbacks, not ultra-minimal. If your computer is extremely old, think sub-1 GHz CPUs or less than 1 GB of RAM, Linux Lite might still feel heavier than distributions built specifically for very ancient hardware. Conservative look, it focuses on function over flashy visuals. If you want eye-catching animations or modern themes, you may find Linux Lite's appearance somewhat basic. Who it's best for? First-time Linux users who want a Windows-like experience. Anyone looking for a stable, well-supported distro that still runs comfortably on modest hardware. Minimum requirements, 1 GHz dual-core processor, 2 GB of RAM, 20 GB of free disk space. Number 2. MX Linux. MX Linux is a collaborative project between the Anti-X and former Mepis communities. It's built around Debian's stable branch and is available in several flavors. For most older PCs, the standard edition with XFCE is the go-to choice. MX Linux strikes a balance between usability, out-of-the-box features, and lightweight performance. Why choose MX Linux? Complete. Ready to use. Setup. From an office suite and media player to an email client and PDF reader, MX Linux arrives with everything you need pre-installed. Customized graphical tools, unique utilities such as MX Snapshot to create your own installable system image, and MX tools for maintenance tasks make system administration approachable, even if you're not a Linux expert. 32-bit support. MX Linux maintains a dedicated spin for legacy 32-bit processors, making it one of the last mainstream Linux distros to do so. Potential drawbacks, older software versions. Since MX Linux tracks Debian stable, its core packages can lag behind cutting-edge releases. If you need the very latest software, you might find the versions in MX Linux a bit dated, not the absolute lightest. Although lean compared to mainstream distros, it still bundles more tools and features than ultra-minimalist options. Who it's best for? Users who want a lightweight but fully featured desktop out of the box. Anyone who prefers the stability of Debian's stable branch and might want a choice of init systems, sysv init, or alternatives. Minimum requirements, Intel or AMD processor, i686 or newer. One gigabyte of RAM, five gigabytes of free disk space number three. Bode Linux. For those seeking an extremely lightweight environment, Bode Linux delivers a near minimal experience. Based on Ubuntu LTS releases, it features the Moksha desktop, a fork of the Enlightenment window manager, known for its visual flair and minimal resource usage. Bodhi's philosophy is, install only what you need, giving you a bare-bones system that you can tailor by adding just the applications you want. Why choose Bodhi Linux? Minimalist design, the Moksha desktop consumes very little RAM and CPU, resulting in snappy performance on hardware that might struggle with heavier ideas. Ubuntu LTS Foundation. You still get the benefit of five years of support and access to Ubuntu's repositories, so software availability isn't sacrificed. Multiple editions, beyond the standard ISO, there are HWE, newer kernel, app pack, including some pre-installed apps, and legacy 32-bit versions to suit older processors. 
potential drawbacks, sparse defaults. You won't find an office suite, media player, or other conveniences pre-installed. You need to install anything extra yourself, which can be a hurdle if you prefer a turnkey experience. Learning Curve Moksha's panel, widgets, and theming differ from more common desktops. If you're unfamiliar with Enlightenment-based environments, expect a bit of a learning period to customize it to your liking. Who it's best for? Fans of very lightweight desktops who don't mind manually installing applications. Machines with extremely limited resources, such as 32-bit CPUs and under 1 gigabyte of RAM. Minimum requirements, 32-bit processor, 500 megahertz or faster, 512 megabytes of RAM, 5 gigabytes of free disk space number 4. Peppermint OS. Peppermint OS takes a different approach by blending traditional Linux desktop tools with cloud-based applications. At its core, it's a Debian-derived XFCE-based distro designed to be streamlined and fast. The standout feature is ICE, named Kumo in some versions, a custom utility that lets you create site-specific browsers, essentially turning any web application into what feels like a native program. Why choose Peppermint OS? Cloud integration. If you rely heavily on Google Docs, Webmail, or other web services, Peppermint's site-specific browser approach means you can access those services without the overhead of a full browser. Light on resources. With a minimal set of default applications, Peppermint keeps RAM and CPU usage low. Choice of base. While the default is Debian stable, there's also a DevOne-based version that omits systemed using alternatives like Size V init, OpenRC, or Runit. Potential drawbacks, setup required. You don't get a web browser or software center installed by default. You'll need to install both if you want them. This can feel like extra steps compared to more complete distros. Best for web heavy users. If you seldom use cloud services, Peppermint's core advantage, web app integration, may not be as compelling. Who it's best for? People who predominantly use web apps and want them to behave like standalone programs. Users who want a very minimal base to build upon without needless software installed by default. Minimum requirements, Intel x86 processor, one gigabyte of RAM, 10 gigabytes of free disk space. Number five, Linux Mint XFCE edition. Linux Mint has earned a reputation for being user-friendly, stable, and visually appealing especially for people coming from Windows. While the Cinnamon and Mate editions offer modern looks and features, they can be too heavy for older computers. That's why the XFCA edition exists, to deliver Mint's beginner-friendly ecosystem at a fraction of the resource cost. Why choose Linux Mint XFCE? Polished, familiar UI. You still get Mint's signature desktop layout? complete with a bottom panel, application menu, and system tray, only in a more lightweight flavor. Rich software selection? Built on Ubuntu LTS, Mint XFCE gives you immediate access to thousands of packages, plus Mint's own software manager for easy installation. Active community. If you run into trouble, there's a large user base and extensive documentation ready to help. Potential drawbacks, heavier than ultra-minimal? Distros. Though lighter than Cinnamon or Mate, XFCE still requires more RAM and CPU than distros like Bodhi or Anti-X, less suitable for extremely old PCs. If your machine has only 512 megabytes of RAM or an ancient single-core CPU, you may be better off with one of the more minimal options. Who it's best for? Linux newcomers seeking a comfortable, Windows-like desktop on hardware that can handle mid-range specs. Anyone who wants a friendly community and straightforward software installation. Minimum requirements. Intel x86 processor. 2 GB of RAM, 20 GB of free disk space. Making your choice. When selecting a distro for an aging Windows PC, start by checking your system specifications, especially the CPU architecture. 32-bit versus 64-bit, RAM amount, and disk space. Once you know where your hardware stands, Compare it against the minimum requirements of each distribution. Under 1 GB RAM or 32-bit CPU, Bodhi Linux Legacy Edition or MX Linux 32-bit are top contenders. 1 GB to 2 GB RAM, 64-bit CPU, MX Linux XFCE, Peppermint OS or Linux Lite could be ideal, giving you a balance between functionality and speed. 2 GB plus RAM, 64-bit CPU.
Linux Lite or Linux Mint XFCE offer the most user-friendly, out-of-the-box experience with a relatively lightweight footprint. Beyond raw resource usage, consider what matters most to you. Ease of setup. If you want a complete desktop with minimal configuration, Linux Lite or Linux Mint XFCE will get you up and running fastest. Customization and minimalism. If you enjoy fine-tuning every aspect of your desktop and installing only the apps you need, Bodhi Linux is perfect. Cloud-centric workflow. If most of your workflow happens in web applications, Peppermint OS can give you a seamless app-like experience for those services. Remember, you don't have to commit immediately. Most of these distributions offer live versions that you can run from a USB stick or DVD. Booting into a live session lets you test each environment, check compatibility with your hardware, ensure Wi-Fi and graphics work correctly, and see if you like the overall feel without touching your computer's hard drive. Closing thoughts. Upgrading your old Windows machine doesn't have to mean expensive hardware purchases. With any of these lightweight Linux distributions, you can reclaim speed, security, and a modern desktop environment. Whether you need absolute minimalism for a vintage laptop or a comfortable bridge for Windows migrants, there's a distro here to suit your needs. Try a live USB session first. Take your time exploring each interface, and soon you'll be running a speedy, efficient system on hardware you thought was long past its prime. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, everybody. And don't forget, I'll be posting videos daily without missing any day. So don't forget to like my content, share my content on all social media platforms so we can build a larger Linux community and conquer the world with love. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to my everyday content. Bye, have a wonderful day.